What's going on, Darksiders? Today we're going to be taking a look at a game called Star Renegades. Um, I got an early access copy, so I thought, why not take a little look at it, record some footage, and see if it's something I like, see if it's something that you would like. And uh, I'm just going to do my usual thing and just kind of add some dumb voices to this game. And let's see if we can have ourselves some fun, shall we? Let's go ahead and start a uh, new game. Ah, I love the art style right off the bat. The... 3D pixels. It's just, oh, it's just everything I love in a video game. You know what I mean? Look at this mouse. Doesn't this mouse look nice? This is a nice mouse. Comment down below if you like this mouse. Yes. Over Narash, a small force of mysterious raiders destroys the mighty Star Union Armada. The surviving starfighters attempt to regroup, pursued by the relentless enemy squadrons. Win, answer me. I know you're alive. I'm fine, Dav. Those enemy fighters are good, like really good. I'm lucky I managed to land in one piece. You get points for missing all the buildings. Ah, Zub Zub Crud. I got more of those fighters on my tail. Where are they all coming from? I landed by the train to Fort Garen. If I can get to the base in time, you can get those anti-aircraft guns online. My thoughts exactly. That'll be a nice surprise for these fighters following me. Great plan. I'm coming to you when I get at the base. Over and out. Oh, it looks like that's where we got to go. So uh, I played a little bit of this by about like, you know, two seconds. And then I restarted the game because I read everything in my dyslexic mana. So now I'm just talking like this and we're going to have ourselves some fun. All right. So let's go and take a look at this. That's the best use of taxpayer credits. All right. Uh, and it looks like we can kind of see what these citizens are saying right here, which is kind of a little cool. We can't talk to them in any matter, but we can kind of hover over and see what they would say. You know what? Sure. These raiders from another dimension just destroyed our armada, but I think we should hear out what they plan to do post-occupation. Maybe they're into low taxes and grinding the poor into dust. That's some policy I could get behind. Oh, God, this person's horrible. Who would have thought that Norash would be close to a fight like this? And right before tourist season also, I'll be ruined. So I'm assuming he's like a he's got to be like a hotel owner. He's not happy. Oh, sure. The government tells us some mysterious fleet just appears out of nowhere. Next thing you know, they'll pass some laws confiscating massive stockpiles of mega nuclear material, even though it's my right to own it. Wait, what? I'm sorry. You own. You won't. I'm sorry, ma'am. You own what? Never mind. Never mind. Get away. Radioactive. I'm getting away. Uh, thank you, ma'am, for your service, but could you could you please move this smoking wreckage over there? We've got children after all. All right, let's go take a look at this. I'm picking up some strange signatures on that train. Something tells me they aren't commuters. These raiders are gonna get on the troops. These raid these raid these raiders have ground troops too. I'm sorry, that song has been stuck in my head all day, so I super apologize. Let's see how they are at hand-to-hand -hand combat. Prepare to meet my doom. I think you meant your doom. I don't know why I'm making her sound like this. She doesn't look like she sounds like that, but that's just what we're going to go with, all right? But I think you meant your doom. Ah, never mind. This will be a cinch. I'm going to take him out with a cleave. Combat basics. Combat in Star Renegades is deterministic, meaning you can see your enemy's actions before they execute, allowing you to defend, crit, stagger, or break them. All actions are displayed on the timeline according to their execution time in the round, except for instant actions, which execute immediately. Okay, and each round is 60 seconds. A unit's health is shown in the status bar above their heads and consists of shields, health, and armor. Any effects are also displayed above the status bars. On enemies, you can see the action they are going to execute. Shields regenerate at the end of every combat. Health and armor can be increased or healed during camping or from health and armor crates you found during your mission. Okay, got it. So shields regenerate every time, but my health bar I gotta take out of combat. Okay. Uh, so it looks like this is standing still right now. Let's go ahead and inspect this UI a little bit. So far, like it. Liking everything about it. It seems very simple. It's telling me to blink slash, but it also wants me to cleave. Oh, no, no. That's just because that's what... Okay, that was just weird. Okay, so it looks like I got my health bar right here. 
Looks like we got that right there. Let's inspect the unit. Can I inspect you? Okay, that's pretty neat. So I can see 100% uh, versus shield, 100% versus health. It does pierce. What does this mean? I'm assuming that's how much he does in general damage. And he breaks one armor. And I got a little armor symbol. So I think we can kind of figure this out. All right, let's get out of that. Now let's go ahead and hit him with the cleave and see what happens. Oh, okay. He shot me. I don't like this game. He shot me. Yeah. Oh my God. That's actually really cool. Okay. So we did 35 damage to that. He may be dumb. Oh wait, hold on. <clears throat> he may be dumb, but I should probably hit him before he hits me. I'll recalibrate and crit him with a slash. A crit occurs when a unit is hit before they can execute their action. The crit bonus that is applied shown below is the attacking power's main information. Okay, now I'm just getting a little bit confused. Crits can do extra damage, break the enemy's attack, pierce shield or armor, damage armor, or have other devastating attacks. Be careful though. Enemies can also crit your heroes if they are hit before they can execute their attack. Okay, I know I read that, but I didn't understand any of it. Okay, so it told me to slash, so that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going before, and because I went before, now I get the crit. And now because now he's going to shoot me afterwards, now he doesn't get the crit. Interesting, so just whoever goes first gets the crit? Maybe I'm just confused. I don't know. I'm an idiot. Don't worry about me. That got his attention. I'll smash him with a hue to break him, and that will stall his attack. Okay, all right. Attacks can stagger an enemy's action, delaying it to execute later in the round, allowing your squad to execute more actions and crits before the enemy can act. The amount of stagger an attack will do when it crits is shown in green beside the stagger delay icon. Okay. With careful planning, you can chain attacks together to land multiple staggers on an enemy and break them by pushing them into the next round. However, enemies have a stagger limit, denoting how many times they can be staggered before they are immune. This is shown on the timeline besides their portrait. An enemy's stagger limit increases again after they execute their action. Okay, so... Uh, the hue looks like it's going to push them by 30 seconds, and I don't... Uh, maybe this is an increment of 10, I'm assuming? No, maybe it's an increment of 5. I don't know. I'm lost. I'm scared, but this is what it's telling me to do. Oh, it's show. Oh, it has like a little animated thing that's going to show if I'm going to break him or not. Oh, okay. Let's do it. So I'm going to break him right on out of there and now he doesn't get to go this turn <laughs> sucker the tutorial's completely against you time to end this a slash is gonna finish the job all right let's go ahead and just slash him and because we go first we're gonna get a crit yeah there it is and look at look at that guy man this the animations on this game is really nice oh and i found two dollars that's nice okay i'm at the base just what I thought. It's been hit with some kind of EMP. Well, at least the coast is. Teleported in. Union techs have been researching that for decades. How these guys do it. They may, they may be more advanced than us, but at least we can take them out in a fight. Let's see how I do against this one. Just remember all your training and you'll be fine. All right. Do, 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 do. Ooh, what's this? Titan hand. Wow, I guess the earth shifted enough to expose one of these titan hands. Oh, 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 God. There's two of them. Oh, God. I just now noticed that. There's two of these guys over there. Well, that's not what you want to see. All right. All right. So it looks like once I enter right here, it's going to let me know that I'm definitely entering in combat. So what if I just go around? What if I swim? Can I swim? Can I swim? Nope. That's going to initiate the combat immediately. Okay. Oh, this guy's got a flamethrower run. The Imperium will make you burn. Oh, God. That sounds like you could use some ointment for that. Now let's try a cleave. Okay, wait a minute. Do we want to try a cleave? Or do we want... Oh, okay. I guess we're still in the tutorial because it's forcing my action still. All right. E oh. Wait, he resisted the crit? What is... Oh! Oh! Well, that hurt. That's not what you want to see. Ah, whoops, that didn't work. Maybe a lighter touch. Let's try a hue. 
All attacks have a core damage type. That describes what kind of attack it is. They are light, normal, heavy, flurry, AOE, counter, and combo. Adversaries uh, may be weak to specific core damage types and take extra damage and delays from them. However, they can also be resistant or even immune to specific core damage types and take a little to no damage and delays from them. Okay. So in other words, do a hue. Got it. Yeah. Ooh, he's weak to that, which broke him. All right. Which means he doesn't get to go, which means I'm winning. That's better. Now to slash him for another break. Okay, so I'm not quite understanding why we are doing so much breaking, but I'm down. Okay, I'm down. Let's just click the buttons and do it. Okay, we broke his shields and we broke him, so he doesn't get to go again, which is awesome. His break limit is empty. So much for delaying him. I'll have to defend to minimize the damage from his flame attack. All right. Are you sure? I feel like maybe we should go in on this. I feel, all right, fine, I'll defend. All right, I'm gonna defend. He's gonna burn me. But luckily, oh, my shield's down. That's probably, oh, I'm burning, I'm burning. Okay, pal, I'm getting sick of you. Let's try to crack your armor with Sunder. Oh, I've played WoW. I know that one. Uh, armor absorbs damage before getting there. Blah, 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 blah. I don't even know. I've played WoW. I get it. No, dismiss. I know what Sunder does. See that little number right there? Well, hold on a second. The dog's just going to keep barking. You know when you're trying to record a YouTube video and the dog just keeps barking? Azrian, take this out. Azrian. Azrian, take it out. Zyra, shut the fuck up. Zyra, daddy's recording. Shut up. All right, and continue, I think. Continue. All right, take two. Sunder, huzzah. Ooh, we broke him again. I completely understand how that mechanic works, by the way. I'm totally paying attention. His armor is completely broken. Now to finish him off, I'll crit him with a slash. Okay, so let's get that crit in. And this is going to be a kill shot. I love that it shows whether or not it's lethal. That just makes me so happy. Ooh, this guy had three coins. That's nice. I could use those guns right about now. I've got a trail of fighters right behind me. Where are the guns at? Roger that. Yeesh, little sis, to the rescue, I guess. <laughs> okay, they're probably up there, so I'm gonna go down here because it's probably secrets. Secrets, give me all the secrets. Okay, there was no secrets. Fort Garen. Fort Garen saw a lot of action in the Flux Wars, but now it's mostly just used for training. All right, well. Uh. Do you guys think we're not going to run into any more bad guys? I bet you we're going to run into some bad guys. Go, no, go to the terminal. Okay, Dav, the guns are powered up. I'll leave these fighters right to you. It'll be like shooting zub zubs in a barrel. Uh, where'd that on, <laughs> where'd that ominous otherworldly ship come from? I got a bad. Davian, pull up! Something else took remote control of the guns! Oh no, they're gonna. <gasps> Sister! I guess I botched the land. Oh, she's okay then. Ah, Dav, you're alive. We gotta work it. We gotta work to get out of here. Can you walk? I'm fine, just a little shaken. That was a close call. These guys are cheating. They're just teleporting in. I found what you're looking for, mother. He's as pathetic as you'd said he'd be. Wait, what? Your life, it is for nothing. Oh God. It's like a really stupid version of Grimlock. Kind of sounds like dad, right? Not the time for jokes, Win. Remember, find his weakness and exploit it again and again. Hmm, maybe I'm sounding like Dad. 
use the inspection mode to see a view to view a unit's stats that they are targeting while in inspection mode you can also see a unit's traits and effects to see what weaknesses strengths resistances and immunities it has uh, damage prediction and kill shots when targeting an enemy you are shown a prediction of the outcome of your actions on that enemy for that round if your actions will presumably result in the death of an enemy then kill a, then a kill shot indicator will be displayed important damage predictions and the kill shot indicator are not always 100 percent accurate because many things like heals damage buffs defense buffs can happen before the final blow lands resulting in the change outcome mm okay so let's let's use all the skills that we've managed to learn let's inspect first uh 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 uh, uh got it i don't got it i'm just gonna i'm just gonna i'm just gonna go for it okay let's see what blade throw does looks like blade throw is gonna do that looks like he's got a can i do anything to vivisect oh my god it's that oh god uh okay we're gonna try to go f no 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 can i oh i can start over here okay cool okay so sunder is right here sunder is gonna knock them right there and then i'm gonna try to also stagger them no 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 okay let's just get the extra crit bonus let's see what we do here let's see how this goes so we're gonna do the blade throw and get the crit okay that helps and then this one's going to crit oh we can't sunder until we break through the shields i'm learning i'm learning wait oh god i'm learning at a price ah all right well that's not that bad when remember the combo attack we used to practice the one we broke dad's grav hopper window doing that's the one now let's give it a try again good idea let's just make sure we've generated enough fury first oh i bet we're about to get another window yep your heroes generate fury by landing crits and breaks on the enemy crits generate one fury while breaks generate three and use fury in a special attack okay so that's what that was Combos are special maneuvers that cost fury and are executed by two or more of your heroes simultaneously. Each combo can be executed once per combat. Combos are only available for heroes that have strong relationships, which can be increased during camping. Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay, well, either way, we need to... Can we break? Nope. Mm, let's try to push. We'll push that one out and uh let's see one which one of these does good damage to the cleave there we go let's do a hue because the hue is gonna break them all right boom Hue's gonna push them right there then this person's gonna get to go and then their shields are broken or they're just broken in general they're just broken in general okay Okay, but now they are reset and now they're back over here, which means there's going to be no ifs, ands, or buts about this. This is just going to hurt. <gasps> Ooh, we can do Siphon Slam. Do they both have the same ability? Yes, they do. All right, so we're going to use the new Super Mega ability. Oh! Oh, that's nice! Ooh, that's nice! Ooh, that's not nice! All right, that's all right. All right, wait a minute, what? Charging? Ch charging? That's not good. That's not good. Okay, which one does the most damage? Which one does the most damage? Uh, heavy attack. That says it's gonna be a kill shot. Where is the my cleave? Let's do both kill shots. Let's try to kill it before it's done. Okay. Oh, that one had five coins. That's nice. A temporary setback. Mother shall, shall soon have her victory. Oh. Oh, this is the guy we die to in the tutorial. Yeah, that's what this guy has that one written all over his face. Yeah. Stay back, Win. I'll take care of this guy. What he lacks in charisma, he'll make up for in hideousness. <laughs> nice. 
Mother only wants you, Davy and Sphinx. Sephix? Sephix? I don't know. I'm really bad with names. She has no interest in the female. No way you're doing this solo, Dav. We need to work together to defeat him. Uh, oh my god. Yeah, this is definitely the guy we die to in the tutorial. 100%. This is the guy we die to in the tutorial. <laughs> He's got 44 armor. He's got 44 armor. Let's get two crits and just see what happens. Okay, well, oh yeah, yeah. This is the guy that's gonna kill my brother at the very beginning of the game, and it's gonna it's gonna make me have vengeance. And this is the, this is the storyline. Let's do it. Enough. This is taking far too long, and the results are inevitable. Death, get back. Be careful. All right, let's go ahead and uh, you know what? I'm gonna defend. I'm gonna defend. We're gonna cuddle up and snuggle up. Let's do it. Oh, I'm sorry. I, oh God. No, this can't be happening. Mother, I have done what you asked. Bring me back. I cannot last much longer. Well, that's not what you want to see. Don't give up, Dav. I can't do this without you. I don't know why, but in the very beginning, I gave her the extremely masculine voice and I gave the guy the extremely feminine voice. I, I don't know why. Dav, come on. Get up, please. I can't do this without you. Sniffles. The Imperium. Throne room. The throne room is the throne room is where you can give details on the Imperium hierarchy and all the currently known leaders, behemoths, and adversaries. Adversaries. I know how to read. From time to time, you will be brought here to witness events such as depths, promotions, introductions within the within the Imperium. You can also access Imperium throne rooms directly from the main menu. Ad uh, adversaries are elite soldiers of the Imperium. They are stronger, tougher, and have unique special traits and abilities. They also have unique personalities. So no two adversaries, uh, adversaries, I shut up, shut up, don't, shut up, don't comment on it, are never the same. Adversaries can also be promoted, evolve, and grow stronger when they are able to defeat you. Adversaries are usually guarding a rare or epic crate. Mm hmm. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, what? Oh shit, I... Ah! Meanwhile, elsewhere. There, I found them. That's where the Imperium have invaded next. They must have already started their attack. Mysterious scientist, interesting. All right, the only thing left to do is turn you on. <laughs> Activate droid. Beautiful. All systems go. Maybe this fight isn't over after all. I did a pretty good job making you look like a run-of-the-mill servo bot. This should come in handy. Now, J5T1N. We have to go outside. I'll lead the way. All right. Let's see. Anything neat around here? I love this art style. It's so unique. It's so heckin' unique. All right, let's go ahead and just walk on through our lovely little place. Bunker exit. Uh, this is fine. These buildings usually aren't on fire. The attack just ended. But they'll be back soon enough to finish the job, so we have to hurry. The entry point is right over there. All right, taking bets. Am I going to get attacked between here and there? I bet not. Pay attention, J5. You will need to walk through this portal and deliver a very important message for me. Find Professor Zurich. They're the only other person I can trust. They might be a little testy, but that's just how geniuses are sometimes. Find them and play the message I gave you. Can you do that? Bleep, bloop, bleep, bleep, bloop, bleep, bleep, bloop, bleep, bleep, bloop, bleep, bleep, bloop, bloop. It doesn't have any text. That's why I added some. 
I'll take that as a yes. Countless lives depend on you doing that. Though, try not to let that give you a big head. Or sphere, I suppose. Go through the portal when you're ready. What? What portal? What are you talking about? I don't remember why I'm even here. What's that? Don't worry about me. Your mission is the only thing that matters anymore. All right, I'm going to listen to you, Mom. I'm going to trust you. I'm going to go into the fire. Oh, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I was just kidding. I'll go into the portal. Okay, here we go. Let's hope this works. Oh, look at that. It worked. He made it. Good. Now, here's hoping. There you are. Well, what are you waiting for? You've got me, haven't you? That's a whole lot of people. Many of you have told me Davian... Wait. Many of you have told me what Davian meant to you. For that, I thank you. I only wish that Davian were here now so I so you could tell him directly. Thank you, Wynn. This guy looks grumpy. I like it. A moment of silence for our fallen warrior. Please. Bleep, bloop, bleep, 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 bloop, bleep. I'm sorry. I don't know why I'm like this. I am so sorry. I am so embarrassed. I am so embarrassed. I haven't seen this much commotion here since we proved the non-existence of space whales. I remember that till the day I die. Who would have thought that physicists would get it so violent? Oh my God. Hey, can I talk to you? I got a message. All right, well, I don't know who that is. I'm just gonna go to the lab building. Don't mind me. Now, onto the business at hand. Some of you have approached me wondering what the council plans to do with these raiders and the ones that destroyed the Armada and killed Colonel Syphix. As a member of the Joint Chiefs, let me just say we have a plan. We will rebuild the Armada stronger than ever and we'll send the vessel back to the hell it came from. Oklahoma. <laughs> Alright. Da, da, da. What did I say about not being? Sai, come here and give me whatever message you have. Hello? I'm in the middle of studying the most important unexplainable quantum phenomenon of my career. So whatever it is, I hope it is really shattering. It's reality shattering. I know how to read. Hello, Dr. Zurich. Well, I guess that counts. <laughs> it's a message from yourself. Let's cut to the chase. I'm you and you're me. We're from different realities. I know this is highly confusing, even to you. I've sent this hyper-advanced servo bot across the quantum divide to warn you. Your reality is under attack, even as we speak. Does this have anything to do with... The Q71 entanglement phenomenon you detected over Norosh? Precisely. You're... <laughs> You've certainly alerted the Star Union Council and they've dispatched the Armada to investigate. You'll learn very soon that the Armada has been destroyed by the starship of unimaginable power cloaked in the entanglement. This ship is from another reality and its goal is to conquer your entire galaxy. I know because they've already conquered mine. I've got to warn them, it's too late. <laughs> But when the council calls, seeking your brilliant expertise on parallel realities, you'll need to have a plan ready. And that's where I come in. I know these invaders next move, and that's how you can stop them. If you follow my lead, your world has a shot. If you fail, promise me you'll send J5T1N through the next reality they invade, because they will never stop. Now listen up, here's the plan. My first step is this. Reach out to General Geddon and tell him to play this message. You'll need to explain it to him, but he'll help you form the kind of task force necessary to bring down the invasion. All right, guys, I think that's where we're going to wrap it up for this. We've just kind of completed the tutorial, and I believe diving into the next area is going to essentially start the very first mission of the actual game. If you guys are interested in that, I'll put a part two up here if you guys want to check it out. I hope you do. Um, yeah, this is my first kind of video actually trying to make something for YouTube. So if you guys want to leave a comment and tell me how stupid and horrible I was, I would truly appreciate it. Thank you guys for joining us. Hail Darkseid, and I'll see you later.